think that right there, he knew right away where the blitz was coming from, where his primary guy was going to be, and he ended up going to a secondary target for a nice game. For this on the opening drive. They'll try and throw for it here. Oh, that dude. Ah, fuck. That dude wasn't even supposed to be there. But all right. God damn, that boy threw that shit fast as hell. But he gets it all the way down to the one. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you. And, he'll take this and I can't do anything about this QB sneak. Steve McNair taking it in. And the Packers have taken the early lead. Instead of having to play follow the leader there. They face a second and 11. It's a five receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. Now McNair. It's caught by OBJ. The 40. Pass the 20. Touchdown, Cowboys. And the Cowboys are an extra. Hold up, Beckham. Hold up, Beckham, baby. Cairo Santos on to try the extra point. Woo! It's good and right, the field see. and creating space in order to run plays. A toss play will help accomplish that because now you're pushing a defense to chase you all the way to the edges and to the sideline. Hell y'all. Get there. shit, Keekly. Luke Keekly able to drop him for a loss of a couple. Partner, the Mike linebacker, the middle linebacker has so many different responsibilities. How excited do you think he was to get home with that blitz? Yeah, he wants a sack. He got it. Out of the gun, it's McNair to Breen. Out the Good shit, Sean Lee. He'll get to the 29-yard line brought down there. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They're going to try and throw. A dump off to Breen. Oh, did he get it? Did he get it? Yes, he didn't get it. <laughs> OBJ. Oh, God damn. Witten? Are you kidding me? Why'd you do possession catch, son? Why'd you do a possession catch for... Ah, uh, dang it! If you would have wrecked that, you could have probably got a first down. Oh, please don't miss that! Flag! Left in the kicker. That's a first down. That's a first down. Let's go. Uh, I don't think Elliott's going to have himself a good game today Considering this guy's defense and what he likes to do Oh my god That sucks That sucks That was a touchdown, but just couldn't stop running with Steve McNair. Oh, that's what I was forgetting. 
that's exactly what and I think that factored in. I do. I think that he oh, he caught that on me. Game, that I'm gonna be that's cheese. Because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. What a catch and one handed. Actually, and you know what? Let's go underneath. My awe about the play, and maybe I shouldn't. How much of this is the player? And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They you waited too long. Sack. Cam Chancellor. Here's McNair. Yeah, I was on that the whole way. Oh. Everything about that play tells you about today's NFL offenses and what they're asking out of running backs. You can't just be a guy who can run the football. You have to be able to catch it as well. And he didn't get that done on that play. NFL teams last year, a little under 50% on fourth down conversions. This is a bit tougher. Fourth and four. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Oh, I was just behind. I ran. I didn't. I didn't do that right. Still, I'm getting my tongue t tied right now, bro. Oh, 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 oh. I don't care if I agree with that. But boy, you have to be surprised by that, right? I definitely was surprised that they decided to go for it in this situation. Oh. They either felt like they either had a great play call on, or they're trying to show extreme confidence. Whenever we meet with coaches and they always talk about wanting to establish running the football, it's oftentimes with a good tight end who can control the line of scrimmage and the point of attack, and they're becoming harder to find because the colleges are giving us a whole lot of receiving tight ends, former wide receivers who can run, not necessarily block very well. In this case, though, we saw two tight ends on the field, both of them with the ability to block, and he ran the ball successfully behind that power set. They'll run here with Kareem. And he'll be stopped up quickly. Oh my god, dude. I hate those penalties so much. That makes no sense at all. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. They'll run. It's Vereen. Hell no. Now McNair. He's got a man open. Of course. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down. 24. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trade in pregame warm up. Woo! Anthony Barr still making plays out here. After practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. He actually ran it. That's crazy. That makes sense. Just because I don't think he's going to run it. Put some QB spies on it. Let's spread them out. So. Oh, y'all better pick that. Oh, my God. Three of y'all in the area. And not one of them can come down with it. After all the preparation, all the practice, a play like that will absolutely break your heart. They had everything they wanted, just unable to complete it. In the end zone, a big time drop. I'm going to sub Luke Keekly out because I want Anthony Barr for the team. Let's go! They elect to go on 4th and 11. Let's go! To throw McNair. What? They hit you right in your arms, boy! To 13 seconds. I hit you right in your arms, dude. Dallas gets set to take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter. I definitely have time. Offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they But I don't. In the second quarter. They go to Elliott again. What a spin. Oh! Oh! Go! Run, Elliott! Run! Run! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, the clock! Oh my god! I hate that spin move on him! He's so pissed! I hate that spin move! On second down, McNair. Taking a shot here for Marshall. Keekly! Good shit! Go 
partial that time. I wanted to I wanted to say pick it, but I can't really be mad. He's a linebacker. I guess maybe just take a shot deep. I think you're right. Almost looking for a bailout, isn't he? Can my receiver ah, go running back wide open? Can win that one. The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? Let's go. That's all. That's at the time. Really. From the gun, here's McNair. He's gonna loft one deep left side here. Oh, that was a pick. Oh. Let's go, Marcus, Marcus Peters. Peters. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. A look at the offense now here. It is most feared. Hell yeah. Of the second half. Now a play fake here on first down. He's going to flip that out to the offense. Has moved the ball. He hasn't been needed till here in the third. I should have hit the back spin. Nope, didn't need it. Didn't need it. On special teams to game. The team making the fewest mistakes will win. But they're hoping is that that last mistake. That's a pick. Oh, you swatted the ball. You swatted the ball. And maximizing opportunities. When everything is in sync on defense, that means everyone's communicating really well. And sometimes it's not. Actually, you know what? Well, then I was going to say the something, but he hiked the ball. The passing lanes down to where it's so difficult to find an open area to deliver the football. They've made it tough on them all game long. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Oh my god, he, they bailed him out. They bailed him out. You've got to be kidding me. There's like three people on him. So here we go, first and ten now. Shift together here from the D-line. They go play action here on first down. He's going to let this one go deep. Just swat that. And that one falls in complete. Shot taken by the offense. Unfortunately, it ended in a big drop. Forced out to his left. That's a Herman Moore, but I don't think it's the legend Herman Moore. I think it may be the Thanksgiving one. One thing I know from experience is that when the deep ball is thrown and you're the defender, you've got to fight that little bit of panic that emerges. You've got to play the ball really well. It's a 50-50 jump ball play. And guess what? They took a shot. Oh, that's out of bounds. Who is that? Cause that dude mossed like three of my guys earlier. Is he gone? I don't know. His receiver is like number 89. I don't know who it is. If it was a legend or not. But he like mossed.